So two days have passed. It is the 16th day. We've only got two more days left in this turn. And Whiskers wants to help me today. You can help me turn this pile, baby. Huh? Huh? Can you help me turn it? Okay, I need you to get down, sweetheart. Come on. Come on. I know. All right, let's open this up. Not as windy today. Still a little chilly. Not raining today. And we've got an over, overcast. It's not a pretty day, but it's pretty in its own sense. Right, here we go. Oh, it doesn't feel any warmer. Let's go grab our thermometer. I did remember it this time, as you can tell. Outside temperatures around, where are we gonna get to? 46-ish, 47-ish, 45-ish. <laughs> All right, let's tempt the top of this pile like we have before in the past right there on top move some materials and let's let's go in the top here see if it's climbing at all all right so we are only a few degrees warmer at the top of this pile than we are outside about 55 degrees outside we're getting about 60 degrees in the top of this pile Take the thermometer out. And let's go in deeper. Let's break it open. I can feel it getting a little warmer in here. Let's see if we can somehow get you guys a reading down in there. In this pile, it's getting six, or it's 76 right now. So we got a 20 degree difference from outside to inside the pile. So we know it's working still, not working at its optimal level. But we knew that was gonna happen. It's gonna start dying off. This is the second to last turn. So we got this turn and one more for the 18 day compost. So around 80 to 100 would be good. And we got to about 77. Let's go ahead and turn this pile. Materials are still pretty damp. I brought the hose over here in case I did need to wet it down, but I don't think I'm going to. It's pretty damp still, and we're supposed to be getting rain again tomorrow, overnight tonight, so. signs going on we got some mycelium if you can see it there hopefully it can adjust some mycelium growing on some of the smaller twigs and stuff in there and of course other good signs some good healthy earthworms this one's an adult you can tell by the the band the band that's in it. It's got a distinguished band, it's an adult. This is a good looking guy right here. Put him back in the pile, get him to work. Let's give you a shot what it looks like. So far so good, it's looking good guys. I'm gonna build this pile a little wider than I have in the past, not make it as tall. As long as it's at least three foot tall, it's about oh, two and a half right now, so I got plenty of room. Make it a little wider, a little fatter, a little shorter. See if that helps it heat up a little bit more this time. But you really can't tell the difference in materials from back here. It just looks like a brown pile of stuff. Well, you have to get pretty close up on it and start picking it apart. 
to find the bigger stuff. It's looking good, coming along nicely. Let's keep at it. What we learned on this pile, on this turn, we learned it got to, what, about 80 degrees? Which is about where I wanted it. Between 80 and 100. Next turn, I, I don't expect it to get quite that hot either. About 80 degrees as, as a peak. After we're done with that turn, we're gonna let it sit and age. Cause we don't need it right now. We won't need it for about three weeks to a month. So we've got plenty of time to let it sit there and age and we'll start another one. So we'll have plenty of compost to start off our garden. Let's cover this compost pile up. This bitch is on the tarp. She won't get off. Come on. We're done for today. I really appreciate y'all watching. If you would, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe down there on the bottom, and share this with your friends.